me pick it up again and show you another throw. Hold the plane at the center and throw straight. Make sure that your hands will go straight like this. Okay? Throw it up as well. Okay, let me try one more time. Alright, so let me pick it up and throw it one more time before we finish the test flight today. Always and the third harder. Okay. You see that if I throw it strong enough, the plane will fly very far. Otherwise, it won't fly far. Let's do it one more time. Hold the plane right here and throw it at a 30 degrees with all the power that you have. See how fast it can fly. <laughs> to test it again so if you don't throw it hard enough the plane will crash but if you do throw it hard this will fly for a long distance so this time I will throw it harder hold the plane right here ready one two and three oh Today, I will make the tutorial and teach you step by step how to fold the F-117 Nighthawk. To make the paper airplane, you need a piece of U.S. letter size paper. If you don't have U.S. letter size paper, use A4 paper. Now, the first step is to fold the paper in half horizontally. Second step Let's unfold the paper. Flatten it down. Fold the paper in half vertically. And then unfold the paper. Now Fold the paper in half again. Let's start from this upper side. Fold down. Press down the paper. On the following step, let's start from this upper edge. Fold both sides of the edge to the center crease. Make sure that you leave a small gap between the center crease and the edge of the paper. Alright. Repeat the same fold for the other side. Now, unfold the paper. On the following step, Let's open the upper layer, push it to a side. 
and press the paper down. Next, let's fold this side of the paper to the right. Repeat the same fold for the opposite side of the paper. Open the upper layer, push it to the other side. And push this edge down to match the center crease. If you can't see the center crease, use this edge of the paper as a preference. Now, for this side of the paper toward the left or the other side, you may need to adjust it a little bit. All right, so this is what you have. On the following step, let's start from this edge for it to the center crease. Rest the paper down. Adjust the paper just a little bit. And now, repeat the same fold for the opposite side. For this opposite side, fold slowly until you almost meet to the other piece of the paper. Press the paper down. When you press the paper down, you can see that it already looks awesome. Now, next step, open the paper for both sides. Press the paper down. You have one crease on this side, another crease on the other side. Start from this edge first for it to the crease. All right. Repeat the same fold for the other side. All right, so it looks very nice. Next step, let's start from this edge and the other edge for both edges to the center crease. Press the paper down. Same thing for this side. All right. So, it already looks awesome. On the following step, let's flip the paper over. Now, start from this tip, fold it straight to this edge. Now the paper is a little bit thick, so curve, curve, and then fold. Until you match it there, press the paper down. Keep in mind that, if your paper is too thick, it will be very difficult for you to fold. If the paper is thinner a bit, it should be okay. But if the paper is too thin, then the blend may not fly well. On the following step, let's start from the center crease here. Start from this point, first straight to this this point is about a half of an inch along this edge or the center of this line so this is about here let's curve the paper and fold straight to that fold slowly slowly until you see this is about half an inch and press down the paper Right, this is about half an inch. Once you finish this side, repeat the same fold for the other side. Press the paper slowly, 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 and adjust it. Make sure that you leave a small gap between the center and the edge of the paper. This is about half an inch again. Fold it slowly, slowly, slowly and 
this is about half an inch okay if it is not about half an inch it's okay but the plant will not fly well so if this is about half an inch here it should be about half an inch on the other side I press the paper down 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 okay then I will take a look to see if both sides are even wow it's look very nice at this point all right so let's turn this over press the paper down make sure that all edges are lined up perfectly here it's overlap a little bit but don't worry much about this part because it will be the stabilizers of the blend so we will be able to fix it on the next step now let's flip the paper over and on the following step this is a very tricky one so follow me slowly and carefully I have to use my finger it depends on how long your finger is estimate about two inches along this edge or the crease push the paper down alright so you need to hold both sides of the paper right adjust it but when you fold it will you see the point right here it will make a point about one inch along the edge but when you estimate it will be about two inches when you press the style it's about one inch along this size and push the paper toward the edge you don't need to push it to this point just as much as you can now I can fold the paper in half you know this part of the paper now pop up push it down push it down for both sides before you fold it in half now you can fold the paper in half when you fold the paper in half Press the paper. Perfect. Make sure that you adjust the stabilizer so that they are even. Here we go. Wings are even. Stabilizer look already good. Now let's fold up to create the wings. Start from this tip for straight to this point. So I will fold up, rest the paper down, repeat the same fold for the other side by flip it over and just fold the wings up. Now I can use the other side of the wing as a preference. So I will adjust it to make sure the four wings are even. And rest the paper down. Here we go. So I leave it to open. All right. So I can adjust it a little bit too. This may not look very good, so I will adjust it to make it go closer to the corner so the wings will be bigger but look nicer. Just adjust it slowly. On the first fold, it is very difficult to make the wings even or it look nice. Okay, here we go. So, this is what we have. On the following step, let's create the stabilizers of the plant. One side first and then the other. This side, I will estimate, not estimate actually, you can see this edge, I'll use this as a reference to fold it straight up like this. Once I fold this side of the plant, once I finish one stabilizer, I will use the stabilizer as a reference to fold the next one. So I match the stabilizer all together and press the paper now I have two sides of the stabilizers this part of the blend now I will make it push this inside here so both sides will stay together push this inside here so it's look nice too okay you see the wings it's okay like this because it will not make a bad impact to the plant, even though it doesn't stick to anything. Due to the difficulty of the plant, I simplify the fold to make it easy for everyone to fold. 
All right. Here we go. So now we have a very nice stabilizer. I can just pull it to a side a little bit. Same thing for this side. I push it to the other side. Okay. When you hold the plant like this, it will look like the real Nighthawk F117. Let me hold the plant right here and adjust the stabilizer. If you want to make sure that the plane will fly well, look at the real jet. You will see how it looks like. Here we go. So this is the F-17. To make sure that the plane will fly well, you need to do one more step. At the end of the wings, so at the end of the wings, curve the end of the wings up like this. You create the stabilizers and elevators. This will help stabilize the plants and help elevate the plant when it's fly. This is very important that you have it because now the plant has a very strong and heavy head. Hold the plant right here at the center of the plant and throw the paper airplane at an angle. Uh, let me repeat again. So hold the paper airplane right here and throw the paper airplane at an angle at 30 degrees or 0 to 15 degrees do not throw it up high like 35 or 40 degrees it will not fly very well if you throw it down it will tend to crash quickly as well make sure that you fly the plane inside of the house or where there is no wings you can test it out there where his wings but the plane may not fly well so keep in mind this is a unique uh, design to fly inside the house not a plan that to fly for long distance this is a plan that just for the shape and fun and challenge yourself finally just to make sure that the plan will fly well just for it up a little bit like this Make sure that the wings make a very wide, wide uh, V shape. Okay, adjust the wings if it doesn't fly well. All right, so this is the end of the tutorial. Let's test it out yourself. Don't forget to like the video, share the tutorial with your friends, subscribe my channel, leave me feedback, and see you next time. Bye bye. Hello everybody, now I am going to teach you how to throw the Nighthawk F-117. This one is a very difficult paper airplane to fold and throw. To throw the plane you need to curve the end of the wings up like I am having here. Make sure that the ball size of the uh, stabilizers are even. Mine is not very perfect so it's not a uh, good one. Um, I don't have much time to refold that, so just show you guys how it looks like and throw. Hold the plant right here at the center of the plant. You can see my hands right here. It's just hidden uh, between the wings. And throw it. When you throw it, try to throw it at zero degrees, at where there is no wings. But if it is windy, the plant will not fly well at all. So, watch right here. Look at this. Curve the end of the wings up and then throw. You can see that it's fly very well, but because I threw it too down, it doesn't fly very far. This time, I will throw it up a little bit, so it will fly for a uh, longer distance. So let me go over here and show you how to hold again. Hold right here, my hands is hidden under the wings, okay, and then throw it straight. If it's windy, the plane may crash very fast. Okay, so check it out. Wow, not bad. Let's try again. Hold the plan up. Add the center of the plan. And buy a good place. And throw it. Let's see how far this one can fly now. Wow, you can see that this is a very good design. Good flying plan. Let me hold it again. 
and I will throw it one more time. This time I will throw it harder to see how far it can fly. All right, water plant right here. Aim it up at 30 degrees. Not a good one to fly out that like that. So when you throw the plant, if your hands move, but if you don't throw it straight, it will crash. So let's try it one more time. Wow! 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 Wow!